Yeah, hey Lexus, like you mentioned, Milton already um, a hurricane. I was actually expecting to become a hurricane overnight. So one of the reasons why we're already starting to see some of those local impacts here in the coastal bend. Coastal flood advisory, that's already in effect until Tuesday morning, as well as a small craft advisory for our offshore waters. Now it's likely that both of these warnings get extended past Monday and Tuesday. And reason why, once again, Milton is a, a very powerful storm expected to become a major hurricane in the next upcoming days. Watching this low pressure system as it continues to make a northeastern track, that's going to increase our wave heights as well. So we're talking anywhere from about four to six feet, a little bit increase, especially as you head more in our offshore waters to start the week off. As Milton continues to track in the northeastern, even seen by Wednesday and Thursday, wave still on the higher note. So want to keep that in mind if you have any plans or any activities expected on the water. That also means that we're going to see some elongated wave periods as well. Monday through Wednesday and likely seeing that even going throughout Wednesday as well, seeing up to about 10 seconds on those wavelength periods. So it's not going to be um, a safe week sort of say on the water. Definitely want to keep caution um, as we continue and progress seeing how Hurricane Milton um, moves throughout the, the northeast. Obviously watching tonight, things are pretty quiet here for us. Calm winds up to about 15 miles per hour. Seeing temperatures sit at about the mid 70s and really it's going to be partly cloudy skies, but pretty clear for that most part. A small chance of a few isolated showers, but nothing too impressive. And that's really going to be the case for us this upcoming week because we do have a cold front on the way. I'm going to talk about all those details and what those temperatures are going to be looking like for us coming up here real soon.